Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Sagittarius for the whole of March 2017. Wow, you have got a seriously interesting month ahead of you. Could be super exciting, creative, all sorts of romantic liaisons, or, you know, just you exploring pleasure and joy. Having said that, of course, there's going to be some kind of shadow side to that. There's got to be some work you've got to do. Um, to move forward, but I'll get to that in a minute. Let's start at the beginning. On the first, it's a whopper of a day as we have the moon in your position of creativity, excitement, romance, kids, all the pleasurable things in life. Now, I'm going to be banging on about that a lot because basically it is the main thread of the whole month. Anyway, on the first, it's like a peak experience because you've got the moon which is your emotions really wanting to seek happiness. You've got Venus, the planet of love, um, combined with Mars and Uranus, the unpredictable. I mean, you know, that is full on. You may be super excited on that day, maybe too excited, maybe too spontaneous, but certainly you might find yourself on a bit of a manic high. You're like, Rah! I want happiness, I want joy, and the slightest thing could spark you off to feel creatively inspired so really use that intense energy on the first but certainly you're launched into march feeling like a new woman or man or whatever you're like rah here i am a creature on the earth ready to explore and feast upon life now we also have jupiter the planet of good fortune uh, who is waking you up to your desire to learn and grow and feel connected to the whole on, in some way. And it is opposing Uranus. Now, this opposition isn't a bad thing. Uranus is the planet of the unpredictable and the spontaneous. It just means that you will have, and all of us will, on, on some level, in some way, have a desire for freedom and to explore the world in a boundless fashion. But for you, it's something pleasurable that's going to spark this off, fingers crossed. But you certainly, one of the messages for the year, not just this month, is that you're finding new people and new groups and new tribes of people that you connect to that inspire you, new collaborators, new friendships, all, all, all kind of new people that make you think and grow and learn and get excited about life again. But it may be that you're kind of overexcited at the beginning of this month in all ways. Now things start to slow down on the 4th as we have the one of the major if not the major aspects of the month and that is Venus the planet of love going retrograde going backwards now when Venus goes backwards she does it about every 18 months it kind of chills out slows down our love life makes us very reflective of our relationships and um, interesting the you're thinking about relationships anyway because you've got that romantic soulmate energy all throughout the month but a good way to examine what's going on is to look back to this around March April 2009 to see what was going on for you then and how you were feeling because it could be that there's some completion or something that you're letting go of or something you're returning to connected to that time Venus retrograde can often bring up ex-lovers ex ex-partners or relationship issues we need to heal you know like if we were hurt in the past and it's it took, stole our joy then that can also you know be resolved and healed I don't know you know there are lots of people that have been hurt once and then that's all that they focus on you know it's that the soul is damaged and wounded this is a, a, a chance to heal that and regain your faith in relationships again by going back and doing the work this energy lasts until the 15th of April now, we, on the 5th, we have Mars in your position of pleasure, happiness, joy and bounciness. Joining forces or trining Saturn in your sign. So you are committing to a new way of finding pleasure in the world. And I'm very excited for you. Good. You know, you can, you can learn as much, I discovered in my 40s, by being happy as you can by struggling and going through hell. So, you know, 
A lot of people don't know that. Sometimes when you're happy, that's when you truly have to face yourself. That's when you really have to do the work. So, you know, I, I send that blessing to you. Maybe may you find that joy that, that teaches you and opens you up. But certainly that seems to be what this month is all about. Now on the 10th, there is a grand fire trine. And we've got um, you feeling that you want to explore the world. Your passion for life and relationships is really stoked on the 10th. But you're also going through an energy pace change as Mars, the planet of action, is moving into your place of health and well-being. So you're focusing on getting fit, getting healthy by moving, by doing physical stuff. And you've got a lot of drive to do that. You're also focusing on, when we get to the full moon on the 12th, on your finance and security. The full moon is in your position of your career. So you may have a peak experience connected to your career or you might have a, a, a big revelation around your career but it's trining pluto the lord of transformation powerful stuff in your position of finance so you're going for a big change on a profound level when it comes to finance money and how you see your career and how you see your financial security now jupiter obviously is a big deal when jupiter does things is as i say stoking you to open up to new experiences but it may be that on the 19th, you feel as if someone's holding you back or wants to pin you down or wants to manipulate you in some way. It could be that you feel someone in your family is manipulating you because they want that closeness with you or a, or a lover or somebody you feel doesn't want you to fly free and learn different things. Maybe they feel threatened by that or that could just be your perception. Maybe they're fine about it, but you're kind of oversensitive. Whatever it is, that could come up on the 19th. Now on the 24th, Mercury, in a, in a very cheery space is opposing Jupiter so you could um, have a power struggle connected to groups but guess what if you use your sense of humor and your creativity all will be cool on the 20th the Sun is entering creativity soulmates relationships romance joy happiness um, the Sun is conjunct Venus on the 25th massively important day that's when you're gonna understand what makes you happy in love and relationships. And that's when you'll get your optimism, your healing, your zest for life back when it comes to love. I mean, really write that down in your diary. 25th, baby. Um, and on the 28th, we have a new moon. In you guessed it. Your passion, joy, and creativity place. Um, okay, it's opposing Jupiter, but it's basically just really, you're forcing yourself to grasp your happiness and a part of you may feel because it's squaring Pluto that it that may impact your finances that if you really followed your path that possibly it would affect your finances but it's not necessarily gonna affect them forever I would say um, in the words of Joseph Campbell follow your bliss and your message for this month is about following your bliss be you're more creative than you've ever been you have the potential to be happier than you've ever been yeah you've got to deal with some stuff to do with the past but ultimately, pleasure is written into the whole of this month. So I really wish that for you. I really hope it for you, but it looks like it's there. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. And please, if you haven't yet, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share, like, or comment. Take care. See you next week.